What's up guys? As y'all can see, it's a bright, beautiful day in Mississippi. There's a great big old Matco truck behind me. So that means it's Saturday morning, Matco Michael's here. So let's take a look, see what he's got. Come on. Sunshiny day, in it? That's right. Nice to see you after we had some rain earlier in the week. Well, I see you got your box back on here. Yeah, we got it out of the way uh, uh, Wednesday night. We, uh, we got to start pouring the foundation and stuff today to uh, close in our carport. So I want to go ahead and get it out of the way before... <laughs> I try to figure out a way to pick that thing up over a block wall. So yeah, that's true. But it's going to make somebody a good new used box, right? Uh, I mean, it is. It does. It is considered used, but it's not because it's never been uh, registered to anybody because it hasn't been sold. So uh, it uh, it's had my tools in it, but not very long. I, what a couple months at, my, at yeah. most, probably. Yeah. So it, I mean, it still looks really good. I had a couple of people commented on yesterday. Somebody's going to get a 6S box for a steel. Is what it's going to equal up to. Because we all know 6S is one of the top. Uh, I mean, it's just right there under the Rebel. So they normally run a lot higher than what that one's going to sell for. But Cool. We uh, It kind of happened to where we got gray all at once. We, did, we didn't mean for it to happen that way. That's just <laughs> We've had this one for a little while. And then the gray cart come in. And then, of course, rolling that one on here. So it's kind of uh, everything's gray. But that's okay. We'll... We'll make do with it. Sounds like you got a head cold. I do. I'm fighting one just like many other people are anyway. But yeah, I got it too. It is what it is. Just, uh, I guess, bear with me, I guess. <laughs> we'll make it work. Got a new tool, huh? It is. This, uh, it's going to be the uh, hydraulic brake caliper press. Mm -hmm. I think this is a, uh, a pretty neat design because we all know that when you have to spin something with hand, especially on brakes, it gets real aggravating because it gets tough and it's hard to turn and we just don't like that so we yeah. started using the ratchet and style and everything so that it ain't so much that way uh, we'll have to assemble it right quick let me cut that heat off up here hold on one second yeah i've seen the pictures of those and i'm you know it looks pretty cool, but I just, I, you know, I, in my mind, I ask myself, how is that easier than using the ratcheting design? Yeah. Because uh, it looks like it'd be harder to twist it. Well, so. I'm going to say with the hydraulic uh, portion of it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make it a lot easier to twist. Um, I haven't used it, so I don't know if I'm a fan of it just yet. I guess we'll find out and see. But... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in some shops this week, uh, this next week, and see who who's doing breaks and stuff like that. And I'll try to decide then uh, if I like it better than the ratcheting. But it's going to go thinner than most of the ratcheting style. Plus, it don't have that uh, bar sticking out the back. So, if, if on the smaller press, uh, if the uh, threads got in the way, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, the, the bigger one that we had that ratchets, they didn't get in the way, but they didn't go small enough. Right. The smaller one had the bar, but it got in the way. So, be interesting to see if this one does. It says it creates three times the force of what your ratcheting press will do with minimum effort. Hmm. So, if it if it stays true to that, I can see where it'll beat it on the ratcheting right. style. Because everybody's had the ratcheting one be hard to ratchet at times, too. And of course, it feels really good and easy right here, but we're not pressing on nothing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I don't want to say, oh yeah, I feel it, you know, but you can see there the cylinder coming out there. So, as long as, uh, I know they had to have enough room to make it to where it could be uh, hydraulic, but as long as it's not too too big and bulky, right. it'll be a good design, which 
most of the time you're not doing brakes in just a tight tight mm -hmm. spot anyway i mean if it's got room for a tire it's got room for this but uh we've all had that area where the caliber's trying to fall and everything else and you're trying to hold this and hold that so either way uh I, i'm i'm kind of excited to, to go into the shop and try this out maybe i'll get to today maybe not uh we'll find out but cool it uh starts uh at 37 and goes up to 71 millimeters so uh looking at 1.4 to 2.8 in inches wise so i think uh that'll be pretty good now mm -hmm. you can take this off and use a 14 millimeter socket right that might be pretty good too i mean if you can control yourself with your impact you can probably that's what i was going to say somebody else shove an impact on that yeah. joker and go to town well as long as you can control yourself with it <laughs> i mean don't just you know but you there's a couple of reasons you don't want to do that for one you don't want to mess the tool up but also you don't want to uh try to push that fluid back just too too fast and mess something up in the the right. uh caliper or anything I, i've seen people with seized calipers try to use uh the ball joint presses and stuff and it just usually turns out bad i mm -hmm. mean if they're already stuck something's always wrong yeah i mean you I might get by for a little it. while but uh i probably wouldn't but yeah you can put a 14 millimeter on there use a ratchet run it down uh like i said if you can control yourself with your impact yeah probably so uh just not wide open all the way but let me look it up and see what an average price on it runs there you go So Somebody actually sent me a message last night where they had bought one of these pry drivers and it bent. He's like, you think it should be warranted? I Absolutely. Said, I think so, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> um, you know, we, we talked warranty in depth last week how uh, some of it, you know, is all on what the dealer is willing to do. But something like that, I mean, it, it, it's made to pry. If it mm. bends prying, well, it, it's, it's covered. Right. You know, that's, there should be no questions asked. The average price of this thing is going to be around a hundred dollars. Okay. Um, so it's actually a little bit more than the the ratchet and style. Um, uh, I think if I remember correctly, the large ratchet and style was usually around 69, 70, somewhere in there. If okay. I haven't forgot, but, uh, so it's a little bit more, but if it actually does three times the force, mm -hmm. I'd be willing to pay that. I'm, yep. but I think everybody's like me without seeing it in use or actually using it. We go back to the uh, the twist style or uh, just whatever with a T handle. You, you it well, just, automatically you think when you see that turning action like that, you go back to before they had the ratchet and style. Everybody, you see clamps, right? Yeah, and they so were, that's what you're thinking. Like, yeah, uh, that sucked. He had put out on a C clamp, you know. Well, and even even on uh, when you got to do the twist the caliper the twist in caliper style and you're using a ratchet mm -hmm. even them you're trying to hold it and twist and it's just yep. that brings back nightmares but uh, like i said of course a while ago i didn't have it pressing on anything it, it was it felt smooth but uh when i go into a shop I'll, I'll know for sure so we'll i'll try to come back and uh if i don't have it next week which i doubt that i will but it, if for some reason i do or i don't i'll come back and let you know how it went when i when i tested cool. it out and seen i just got it out of the box last night so uh we got some more stuff coming in today but uh i don't really like having to order a whole bunch of inventory off of sale but you do what you gotta do to fill the truck so mm -hmm. we ordered a bunch uh, at the beginning of the week to get a bunch in and try to stock the truck back up but it's hard to sell it if you ain't got it that's ain't right it? well you know sometimes uh Sometimes when you need a tool, you don't care if it's on sale or not. You <laughs> just need it. You gotta yeah. have it. You gotta have it. So that's, you know, I've had, I've had a pretty good little uh, run where I was able to catch a bunch of stuff on sale. But right now, I'm just trying to catch stuff, you know, in stock. So, mm -hmm. but between this and a couple of other new things coming out, um, if you haven't went back and seen the videos on the Max Four, uh, I sold two of those scanning tools this week. Um, those things are pretty awesome. We uh, got to play with them and stuff, setting them up and showing people how to use, a, you know, the lab scope and stuff. That those are fun to mm -hmm. use. So, of course, you don't ever want to have to use a scope, but it's fun to use when you get to. But uh, it, well, it is for me. But so uh, keep an eye out. I know uh, the breast cancer awareness is still in full swing. Um, unfortunately, the pink impacts i think we've run out uh 
think they sent out an email saying that we had run out, so apparently they went over really well. Which it's good that they went over really well. I just yeah. wish it could have lasted longer and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. I have a lot of people ordering the shirts and the hoodies and the hats and stuff like that. So it should should be a good cause, you know, good. They want to get you stocked back up with some ratchets. That's the lowest I've seen your yeah, um, ratchet stash in a long time. I've got several ratchets on order. Um, the blue ratchets went on sale in a flyer here recently. I think it's still going on right now. So I ordered a bunch then too. So we should be stocked up on ratchets just as soon as they start rolling in. Uh, between ratchets and wrenches and stuff like that, some 3 8 sockets, you'd think 3 8 sockets would be the most common. We'd, we would have a lot of them, but it, we're just out of them right now. So I'm able to get the individual um, sets like this in, but I'm not able to get the cases. And these are the ones that everybody seems right. to like so much, which on my route, that's my fault because I pushed them so much to, hey, this is a better deal. So that's what they're going to, you know. Mm -hmm. So, it, you know, it, it partly my fault that, it, that I'm waiting on them instead of being able to sell those. But uh, in the end, I'd rather sell them a deal than so yep. those are still really good prices and stuff i mean you still get a good deal when you buy them in a set but if if you're going to need the the short and deep and then the standard and metric why not just go ahead and buy it all at once mm -hmm. at a good price and have a case um i know cases to some people mean nothing because they're going to go in their box anyway and right. a lot of people's going to take them out of the case but hey they're all there at once why not so i don't see it but between that, Redback Boots, we've, I've got plenty of those now. They, they've definitely come in. Uh, I've got just about one of every size in those except for 12s. And I don't know if I forgot to order those or they just not come in yet, but uh, I've got a bunch of those. So Cool, cool, cool. Well, I guess we're going to get in here and get our day started. Cause That's right. I'm ready to get it over with and enjoy a weekend. That's it. All right, guys, like always, thank y'all for hanging out with us. If you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. And if you're not subscribed, you take your finger, click that button. You guys have a great weekend. Catch you later.